just bought Qantas in from the field and we have a scuff. I think there's more blood than the cup would suggest. So I'll just clean the, go get my first aid kit, clean it up, see what we got. You silly, huh? You cut your leg. What have you been doing? This is my first aid kit. It lives in the lorry so that it will always be at the yard with a horse but also if I go out and about it's always there. Um, I grew up in a medical family, so we've always had loads of dressings, stuff around, kind of, I'm a physio, I've done some advanced first aid, um, emergency response stuff, so we're usually quite well kitted out, so on the side, I've got like ice pack, purple spray, and then main compartment, just loads of stuff, um, and I kind of keep it well stocked, then we've got kind of more fancy dressing, swabs, syringes, stuff for stitches and things in there. Um, like very video specific, these are really good for like little rubs and stuff under things. Um, but I think today we'll use this to clean it out um, and we'll use something to dress it, see what it's, see what we've got. Like we've got loads of dressings um, in here, loads of bandages. Um, loads of the naff pulses and the cotton wool and things. Um, I like to keep it nice and well stocked. So first things first, I'll get some warm water, get all the blood off, give it a good cleanse, see what we've got. Um, I don't think it's anything serious. Um, and then put a, a barrier spray over the top. Voila, he's not, he's not lame, he's not sore around it. So I'm, I'm not worried about him. Clean you up, huh? Blood everywhere. So once I've swabbed like the wound once and gone over that way, I don't go back above there and I just use the cotton to take off the rest of the grime so you're not like taking a dirty swab back into the wound. We're gonna need more water. Look at this, Megan. Let's try and get the blood stain off the rest of you, eh? I've diluted some of the um, the equipoints, put it on pad. Good boy. And we'll just squid it into the wound. Good lad. Bye. I just finished off with a barrier spray. Um, any kind of small nicks like that, I would do myself. Any kind of puncture wounds, anything kind of with excess swelling or bleeding that you can't really, is, is a bit odd. Um, lameness, stuff like that, I would call the vet, like when he needed stitches in his, his chin. Um, but little things like that are okay. And I'll just keep an eye on it now. Um, I've measured the circumference just to keep an eye on any any swelling because I think sometimes they can swell up they look like they swell up a tiny bit like over the actual wound but circumference wise it's actually quite a bit um, so I find that quite a handy thing measuring the circumference to measure how kind of swelling and wounds are doing okay little one yeah it looks too high to be a brushing injury maybe like he's a stick or something in the field pith I'm, I'm not really sure um, but yeah it's just a, a superficial cut thankfully hey Oh, 
I've been experimenting with Qantas's tech for a while now. The saddle is like, I think, perfect now. Marks are really even, like the sweat patches, there's no rubs. He's going really forward. But he was still doing kind of the neck and chewing thing. So I've been playing with bits this time. He seems to be super sensitive. Like I rode him the other day and a little bit of neoprene on the, like the corner of the girth was folded over. And he's so honest, bless him. He just kept looking around and like nipping at my feet. I was like, what's wrong? So I got off to have a look and the neoprene was folded over, like put it properly and got back on. Fine, so he's, he is super sensitive, but also super honest. So at least I know that if he's making a fuss, it's a fuss for a reason. Um, so I've just been schooling him and trying to, he's not very, I haven't schooled him very much. Um, we haven't kind of got to being well schooled yet. I'm, I'm not the best person at, at kind of flat work in the world. Um, I still need lots of lessons, but I haven't had lessons on him yet because one, we've had injuries and then two lockdowns, so trying to save the money a bit. But, but once kind of all the finances are fine and everything's a bit back to normal, I'll start having lessons on him again. Um, but yeah, so today I was playing with bits and I was starting to lose the will to live, to be honest. And so I decided just to forego a bit completely and rode him in the head collar and he was much, much better. So, it's trying to find the right bit for him this time. Um, when I had Tizzy, literally bought her tack, put it on her, had the same tack for 10 years, fed her one scoop of endurance mix her whole life every day, no problems. Zed and Qantas, so fussy. They're all on different feeds now. We've tried like different bits, different saddles. It's quite the exploration process, but hopefully we're getting there and he's starting to be much, much happier. And as soon as I've got something that he's kind of happy with and isn't kind of gnawing on and stretching with, <laughs> excuse me, maybe we'll get somewhere. At the moment, he's just having his massage pad and food. Hey, cue ball. That nice, what's in there? Have you, have you eaten it all? Let me get in. Look at that nose. Yum. I don't normally feed them kind of raised like that, but when the massage pad is on, it's got a strap across the chest, it kind of stops them going down. So, whenever they've got the massage pad on, I'll feed them over the door like that. Every moderately dirty pony one side, and then you look the other side and I'm a very dirty pony it doesn't look as bad on camera but it, it really is she really is filthy are you two getting on okay with that Azid? <laughs> you're not the friendliest mare are you? <laughs> no you little scruffy My ongoing search for chestnut, shamp chestnut shampoo is still ongoing, couldn't find any there. Um, they gave us 10% off because there was some damage to the bag, which is cool. But look who it is! It's Tizzy! He was all... <laughs> it's so cool being on a feed bag, I can't tell you. The, the first one I ever saw was like the best day ever. Um, it's quite a while ago now, obviously Tizzy's not competing anymore. Um, oh look at that, oh dear, this has all gone horribly wrong for you Dan. Bye. This is 
third place I've come to in search of chestnut shampoo. I know I could get it online, but it's not the same. And I like kind of buying stuff from local businesses and I like the shopping experience. So here's hoping. I know that they're probably all the same with different colored dye in, but I like having them. So here's hoping we get Qantas, his chestnut shampoo. <laughs> Are at the entrance and two meter trotting poles all the way around. Oh, yay! Quantis is gonna be so shiny. <laughs> in the summer field, the long field that the horses are normally in and it has recovered so well. Like the grass has grown loads, it's looking super green. This patch has started to fill in a little bit as well. Um, today, before I put them back in, so they're gonna go back in here um, in about a week's time, I am using a hand scythe to take down all the docks um, the thistles and nettles and stuff that have grown. I did this bit the other day um, and I did the ditch um, a couple of days ago. I mean, you can't really tell now, but there was a lot of nettles and, and docks and stuff there. So you can see there's like loads, loads of patches. So I'm gonna, gonna get to work. Also today, my friend Sue, she's a dressage rider. She's gonna come, she's got a few bits that we're gonna try on Qantas, cause kind of that's the next thing I want to, to kind of try with him cause he hasn't been particularly happy in his mouth. Um, he's had his teeth done and stuff like that and I've had a look in his mouth, there's nothing there. So I think it is the bit because I rode him in a head collar the other day in the school and he was good as gold. So she's gonna come and help me with bits. She's really good at kind of helping me school and get the foundations right. Um, and kind of give me some pointers and things because I think that's my weak point. Schooling, flat work is definitely where I struggle the most. And then after that, Qantas is having a great day. Um, Qantas has got the physio coming to see him um, and see what she thinks. Hopefully she might have a look at his tack as well. I think sometimes you need someone else to have a look no matter how much you know. I know as a human physio, if I've got an injury, I've struggled to kind of really objectify and, and assess it and things and I need someone else to do it sometimes. So. I think because I've been so involved with him and obviously I see him every day and things, it's nice to get someone else's eyes on him. So yeah, I'm gonna put an audio book on, go to town. <laughs> sweaty now though. Um, I might, because I've got a bit of time, do some of the um, docks in the other paddocks because um, it's not, I don't need to be doing anything else so why not? <laughs> 